for the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff of the Mad Cheese as always. Got another blitz video for you guys, another defensive video for you guys. I'm going to show you guys 100% from gameplay. No practice mode stuff here today. As always, if you guys want to see more defensive tip videos, and if you want to see more videos like this where I'm showing you basically how to do it all from gameplay, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. Other than that, let's go and get right into the video. Now, the formation I'm going to be using today is the 2-3-6 Sam. If you're in a 4-3 playbook, you can also find this formation. Typically, it'll be called the dollar. The play itself, though, will be the exact same no matter which playbook you use, and it's going to be the DB Fire 2. Now, I'm in the Miami Dolphins slash New York Giants defensive playbook that I've been, you know, pretty much using the entire year. But you should be able to find this play no matter what playbook you like to use. Now, this blitz is best used situationally, and I'll go over those situations in a minute. But first, I'm going to go over the actual setup for this defense. It's actually very simple. The first step is going to be to press your DBs. Now, this is something that's really more important for the blitzing DBs than the actual coverage DBs, but it'll bring all of them down, and there's really no negative. To do this, just hit Y or triangle and then down on the left stick. The next step is going to be spreading your defense or spraying your defensive line. To do this, just hit the right bumper or the R1 button and then up on the left stick. You're also going to want to guess pass, which is going to be the exact same setup, only you're going to hit up on the right stick this time. Guessing pass isn't necessarily critical, but it will give you a more ferocious and quicker pass rush because guessing pass will essentially send all the rushing defenders for the quarterback. They won't bite on play actions. Nothing will essentially slow them down. They're just going to go straight for the quarterback. So it's always best to guess pass. Now, the last step is going to be something that you already see here. It's going to be putting your outside uh, defensive ends on a QB contain. To QB contain you just have to hit the RB button or the R1 button twice whether you're on Xbox or PlayStation. When you set up your QB contain you want to make sure that the defensive ends are in the QB contain not the cornerbacks. Typically this will happen but if you notice that your cornerback is on the QB contain the blitz won't work. Or at the very least it'll be slower and much less effective. Now the last step is going to be putting your user which really can be either one of these inside linebackers on a blitz and then hovering the guard. Now in this particular play I didn't even get to do that last part and you'll see that the pressure still gets home if we rewind that back to see what happened, you'll see we get two very different animations. On the right side, the cubing contain kind of sets a pick for the blitz and cornerback who just runs right past unblocked. On the left side, you'll notice that the cornerback actually runs into his own defensive ends. Those are the two animations you'll get the most. But the most important thing to point out here is that only the three down linemen get blocked. Both cornerbacks get in free with the exception of one cornerback running into his own man, which is something you'll typically see from this formation. And I didn't even get the full setup in. And a lot of times you'll notice that even if you do get the full setup in, a lot of times the guards won't react to you. Like you'll see on this next play, I kind of just came down for no reason because the guard immediately dropped back trying to take away the outside uh, cornerbacks on the block. It doesn't work once again as we get instant pressure. But you're not always going to be able to pull alignment. That's something that will change from time to time. It'll be more effective in my opinion if you pull alignment. Like right here, you can see... Just by being in that gap, I successfully pulled number 65. I step away immediately and cover the running back, but by then it's already too late. This lineman is not going to be quick enough to pick up and rotate to want to pick up one of these blitzing cornerbacks. As you can see, both cornerbacks come in free on both sides of the play. Nope. This is really what this blitz looks like at its best, but at its worst, it still gets one guy free. You can see in real time, my opponent has no time to make any decision at all and just has to throw the ball away. Now, as far as the coverage goes, I think this has great coverage behind it, but it is a situational play, and I'll go over those situations now. One of the best situations to use this would definitely be against an empty backfield look where there's no running back at all. Obviously, it's not going to be a run play based on the fact that there's no running threat. Shotgun plays are also very good to run this against based on the fact that you can see the depth drop of the quarterback really makes it easier for the cornerbacks, and even the defensive end here just run around untouched. So, this is probably one of the best formations to run this against. Pretty much any shotgun formation is going be best and that's something that most people stay in most of the game when it comes to passing so it's an excellent defense for that it's also a very good defense for situations that are more prone to passing like third and long fourth and long anytime you have an and long situation uh, this is going to be a good defense for that here you can see it didn't actually work out i didn't get the stop but this is going to be another situation where people typically don't run the ball i'd say another situation is when you're up late in the game say you're up a couple of touchdowns your opponent has to score quickly uh if it's the third or fourth quarter this is a perfect defense for that as well because once again it's something where you're going to be getting instant pressure which a lot of times will limit your opponent to short throws when they really need big plays to come back 
Now, situations that you don't want to use this in, basically any time where your opponent is a threat to run. Like here we have a shotgun look. You can see the lane sizes. That's pretty much the biggest issue when it comes to defense. You really can't close up these lanes. You'll notice that your opponent can hit you with a simple inside zone and have a lot of success, largely because of those lanes, but also because it's a cover two uh, where the safeties play back a lot. You can try to shift your defense. You can try to pinch your defense. You can shift to the left, shift to the right. Uh, all these things, they don't really take away these lanes. You'll still have a huge lane, uh, which is always going to be an issue against run defense you also want to make sure you never really run this in the red zone unless it's like a third and long never run it inside the 20 and especially not inside the 10 once again these huge run lanes are just going to be too easy for your opponent to basically switch over and just hit you with an inside run and basically gas you i mean run defense in this particular formation is not very good you'll also get a lot of frustrating animations where you essentially get weak boxed and pancaked like this. I mean, well, sometimes it'll just be you as a user, but you'll also get animations like this where your entire defensive front just gets bowled over because you don't have enough size. In this situation, though, you can see I'm up two touchdowns late in the game, so I'm willing to sacrifice that to try to basically get better pass defense. Now, to go over the strengths and weaknesses of this particular defense, it's actually pretty simple. Based off the fact that your opponent's going to be throwing a lot of short passes, a lot of quick throws based off of the instant pressure they're feeling, you really just want to cover a lot of short routes. Like you can see, like I did here, that was essentially just a drag uh, that if I take Take that away once i'm done pressing the guard you can see how i can get right underneath pretty much anything that's shallow over the middle on this particular play now this is also an issue when it comes to deeper passing routes because a lot of times you won't be able to get back as quick but that's something i'll go over in a minute ultimately my point is you want to make sure that you're uh focusing on short passing based off the fact that the pressure comes so fast the more you run this the more your opponent will feel the need to get the ball out of their hands quickly uh, and that will result in a lot of short passes but knowing this really gives you an advantage so you can really jump a lot of double drag routes like you can see here this particular play the blitz came in so fast my opponent couldn't even get the play off to a double drag as you can see i mean i did a little bit of a trick here where i did run into both of them to kind of slow them down but you can see before they even get to the middle there's a defender right in the quarterback's face so because this blitz is so fast it will ultimately force your opponent to a lot of check downs and a lot of short routes so be aware of that you'll notice even on a play like this where my opponent essentially has a clean pocket it just gets to a point where your opponent won't be comfortable even here they're going to feel the pressure even though everybody's essentially picked up with the exception of this cornerback who will eventually get around the edge you'll notice that your opponent's going to want to get the ball out of their hands fast so take away the short routes now like i said that can be a little bit of an issue when it comes to deeper routes due to the fact that your opponent will eventually pick up on the fact that this cornerback is always going to be blitzing a lot of times they might try to hit you with streaks and stuff like that i do feel the safeties a lot of times do a good job of picking these uh, types of plays up a lot of times they'll get forced knockouts and stuff like that but throwing over the blitzing corners is one of the easiest ways to get completions against this defense. So if you notice your opponent starts uh, changing their defense at the line, uh, it could be because they're noticing that. It's, it's a good opportunity to get out of this defense if they do that. You also might have issues uh, getting back on deeper routes like you can see right here. I essentially couldn't make it back in time. But if the route is too deep, the safeties will typically clean it up, which makes this a very hard defense to attack. So to me, like I said, very good blitz, very good coverage, just not a very good run defense. So make sure you use this in the right situations and you'll have a lot of success. So that's that's the video. If you guys want to see more videos like this, more defensive tip videos like this out of gameplay, do me a favor, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.